Hi friends, I'm Crystal Bessie with the Louisiana Farm to School program. This month's Louisiana Harvest of the Month was one of the first plants ever cultivated by humans. Along this well-traveled journey, it has become a staple in many cultures, sparking delight, storytelling, and sharing in each one. It's cabbage. The culture around cabbage brings with it many tales. It might even bring you wealth if you eat it on New Year's Day. Whether or not it does much for your bank account, one thing we know for sure, it will provide a wealth of health. Let's head out to Paraloo Farms, where we will get to the core of what takes this often overlooked vegetable from the patch to your plate. Cabbage is a cool season crop that produces large heads of tightly packed leaves on a short stem. Green cabbages are the most common, which are firm headed with smooth leaves, and that's what we're going to see here today. Cabbage is part of the Brassica botanical family. The foods found in this family are commonly known as cruciferous vegetables, which also include broccoli, cauliflower, Brussels sprouts, kale, and collard greens. There are hundreds of varieties of cabbage throughout the world, and their differences are just as many, such as leaf texture, head shape, and color. I'm here with Timmy Perilou of Perilou Farm in Mons, Louisiana. Thanks so much for having us today. You're welcome, nice having y'all here. Mr. Timmy is known for his larger than life produce. He's a native of the river parishes. Can you tell me a little bit more about how you got into farming and, and a little bit more about your farm? I bought it from uh, dad, uncle, and four aunts. In 1977, once I had it, I had to do something with it. So I started farming while I was working a full-time job at GATX in Good Hope, five miles away from here. And uh, once you start farming, it just, uh, it gets in your blood. <laughs> <laughs> it gets in your blood, you just can't stop. You have a special um, partnership with a few groups nearby um, with a cabbage fundraiser. Can you tell me a little bit more about that? My son was in, on a baseball team, Destran High School baseball team. That's how it started. They were looking for, a, from the parents, all of the parents, they were looking for a, a come back two weeks with a fundraiser idea. No, oh, it took me about two seconds to realize in that meeting what I was going to come back with. I asked all of the parents there, I said, hey, what y'all eat for New Year's? One or two of them said cabbage. I said, that's it. Y'all eat cabbage for New Year's. Everybody eat cabbage for New Year's. And I guarantee y'all it's going to work. I'm going to grow them. I'm going to fertilize them. I'm going to buy the plants, everything. Y'all can't lose. Y'all can't lose. If I lose the whole crap, y'all lost not a penny. But y'all got to come back on December 28 and cut those cabbage. Y'all going to have five locations in St. Charles Parish on the East Bank where y'all can sell them. I had already planned all this. I knew it would work. And of course it did work. It kind of sounds like it was more than just a fundraiser because the kids are learning the value of farming. It all worked out good. It all worked out good. Uh, very good. I and mean, I try to plant plenty of certain things. Uh, to make sure they have enough, such as broccoli, Romanesco, and, uh, and the cauliflower, colored cauliflower. That's been very, very successful uh, every year. Can you tell me a little bit more about how you prepare your soil before you do the transplanting? I do a lot of plowing, deep plowing too, for the subsoil. And then I do fertilize. So you transplant and it takes probably about three months you I got it say. 90 days yeah yeah, yeah 90 and then days you got these big heads big, of cabbage big right? cabbage yeah there's about 400 different varieties of cabbage in the world wow yeah and so they come in all different shapes and sizes and colors um, can you tell me a little bit about the variety that you grow here this is either blue dynasty or blue vantage this cabbage right here mm -hmm. and yeah. uh, it's it's in a neighborhood of it's very close to 10 pounds if it's not 10 pounds yeah but they'll, they'll get bigger than that so what is your uh, growing season for cabbage transplant early early september late august throughout september transplant into early october transplant and then you start picking all that around november the 15th and you pick it through the middle of january but then you can also plant and transplant transplant some more towards the end of January. So your season extends probably from like? Mid-November, all the way to, if you're lucky, all the way to now, right now, mm, mid-May. Around May, yeah. Mid-May. Okay, so I have a fun fact for you. Back in 1845, when the potato famine hit Ireland, they realized that they needed to rely more heavily on cabbages rather than potatoes, because they lost all of those. 
And so that was their next big staple food. And when the Irish immigrants actually came to America, they celebrated their heritage and their homeland on St. Patrick's Day. And they had a dinner with corned beef and cabbage. As a special honor to that Irish tradition around New Orleans and especially in the Irish Channel, they throw cabbages and all the fixings for an Irish stew at the annual St. Patrick's Day parades. Do you ever sell your cabbages for those parades? I've been asked by a few groups if I would sell them cabbage. I had to tell them, no way, y'all don't want my cabbage. My cabbage are too big. Uh, <laughs> yeah, they, so they're heavy, you throw something 15 you gotta pounds. You got to get those smaller, smaller heads I don't cabbage. grow small cabbage. I'd love to hear more about the cabbage out here in the field, but I think Judy has something cooking up in the kitchen for us. You want to go take a look? Definitely. All right, sounds good. Let's go. Oh, okay, let's go. Hello, my name is Judy Myhand, and we are having so much fun here at Mont's Farm. They grow some of the best vegetables here, and today we are learning about cabbage. Cabbage is near and dear to my heart because once picked, it has a long shelf life, up to six months, making it a staple for many diets and a popular vegetable in many cultures. Cabbage gets its name from an old French word, caboche. Caboche choux, grand choux. Grand cabbage. Oh, grand choux. Grand choux. Big head. That's yeah. what this is. Yeah. Okay, okay. This is grand choux. I'm curious. How do you plant cabbage? I'll go from seeds occasionally for the spring crop, but for the fall crop, I buy transplant. Does a little head start to come up, or what? What? How's it? Start? It starts off as a plant with no head. Mm-hmm. Two, three leaves on it, and from there it'll start forming a little head. Mm-hmm and uh, just keep wrapping outer leaves around it and uh, it, it gets, okay. and, and some of that is from apparently from the inside also going on and uh, it gets quite large out here anyway. Yes, look at that. And, look that's, at not, the and that's not large. Okay, that's and that's a, not that large? That, that's a medium size. About how much does that weigh? About 10 pounds. Oh my goodness. Okay, that's a great big cabbage. So today, I'm going to invite everybody to taste a few of my favorite ways to eat this delicious vegetable. Right here we have Cajun cabbage bundles, which are kind of like a cabbage burrito, and some coleslaw, similar to what we were talking about earlier, with a little bit of apple in it and using some of the red cabbage to make it colorful, and a brat, which is a German hot dog with uh, some of this uh, sauerkraut on it and mustard. So I'm gonna put this delicious brat here and then top it with some of our homemade sauerkraut. Okay, thank you. You ready? Yeah, here goes. All right. It's very good. Okay, very good. Here we are at the LSU Demo Kitchen, so I can show you these two simple, quick recipes using Louisiana cabbage. First, I'm going to cut some cabbage for a quick saute. And then, I'll cut the cabbage for the coleslaw. There are two different ways to cut the cabbage for the best results. We also have some fun, colorful, and tasty additions to the coleslaw, like some tart apple. So first I'm going to take the diced cabbage and combine all the ingredients for the Cajun saute. I'll mix the cabbage, the oregano, the Cajun seasoning, jalapeno pepper, onion, and bell pepper. I'm going to be melting some butter over low heat in a large pan and then we'll add the cabbage mixture and saute it for about 10 minutes. We wanna saute it until it turns a golden brown so that we know that we have a little caramelization. Now I'm going to take the sliced cabbage, the apples and onions, and toss them together in a large bowl. The marinade needs to be heated. So I'm going to whisk together the vinegar, the sugar, the oils, and the Dijon mustard, throw in a little red pepper flake, and then simmer it until it's well mixed together. Then I'll pour the hot dressing over the cabbage mixture to coat the cabbage and apples. 
After dressing the coleslaw, we'll cover the bowl with some plastic wrap and put it in the refrigerator so that it can marinate for a little while before we serve it up. Now let's check on Crystal and learn a little bit more about cabbage. Cabbage was introduced to America in the 1500s by a French explorer named Jacques Cartier who planted it in Canada. Ships carried stores of cabbage to feed and heal its crews. Its high vitamin C content helped ward off scurvy and its healing effects were used to treat injured sailors' wounds. It plays a comforting role in the foods we eat, like corned beef and cabbage and sauerkraut. It also doubles as a base in superfoods like kimchi, which is fermented cabbage and packed with probiotics. Well, thank you so much for having us here today. It's a beautiful day. Nice having y'all here. We're gonna go eat. We're gonna go eat cabbage, you know, and do your smoke sausage in a little while. Yeah. So you mentioned that you sell your produce at the Crescent City Farmers Market and a few restaurants. And a few restaurants. And um, do you also do the top box food delivery top box, boxes? Top box food too. Yeah. Definitely. Okay. All right, well, we'll look for you on Tuesdays and Thursdays at the market. We go, okay, I'm going there after a while. We're going to check the reflex right now, okay? Okay. Logan, catch! <laughs> Hell, they ain't got no reflex. They didn't duck. They didn't duck. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> the Louisiana Harvest of the Month program showcases a different Louisiana-grown food each month in Louisiana communities. We hope you will join us in tasting Louisiana this month. Support provided by the Louisiana Ag in the Classroom program, giving educators the tools to increase understanding of agriculture and renewable food, fiber, and fuel systems. Learn more at AITCLA.org and by the Louisiana Department of Health, working to improve disparities in health care and health outcomes. Information at ldh.la.gov.